Hello, stamping friends. Brenda Hillard here from Create with Brenda. I can be found at createwithbrenda.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in North Central Minnesota. So anyway, welcome to another episode. Today I have a really fun, um, it's a little bit of a technique, but also um, a fun card. So I hope you'll stay tuned. The products I'm gonna use today is the stamp set called On the Horizon. This can be found in our January through June mini catalog. Lots of great sentiments and some great stamping elements. Today I'm going to be using this grassy um, stamp along with the birds and I love the thinking of you. The sentiment, the inside sentiment that I'm going to use comes from the Peaceful Moments. This is from our annual catalog, and I'm going to be using with Deepest Sympathy on the inside. So I've got all of my stamps mounted up on the blocks. And the other element I'm going to be using is the basic border dies. These are awesome in that you can add a lot of really fun um design to your greeting cards and envelopes with the stitch dies so is what i did and i think you can see this okay um i took let me just grab a piece of colored cardstock i think uh, that makes it worse anyway i took a piece of our window sheets it's just a acetate piece and i cut it with this basic border die so that you get kind of this, I think it looks like clouds and that's what I'm going to use it for. And I'll show you how I did this in just a moment. But these are the basic border dies and these two can be found in the annual catalog. All the products I use on my videos are current Stampin' Up! products and they can be purchased in my online store that I will link down below in the description. Okay, so here's the card we're going to do. And when I designed this card, it was for a demonstrator swap that was to be like um, landscape themed. So um, this is what I came up with. And today is what I'm gonna show you is how I did these this cloud background. So all I have is just a basic um, card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have another piece of basic white cardstock that measures three and three quarter by five. So three and three quarter by five. The inks that I'm going to be using for this project are, or I should say my color combination for this project is Soft Suede, Mossy Meadow, Balmy Blue. And I need to grab embellishments that I use. And those come from January through June mini, and I think they are on back order, but they are the Pebbles Enamel Shapes. And I can double check the inventory status report for you before we end the video to see, just to see exactly where we're at with those. So that should pretty much wrap up what we're using. Of course, we'll use a little bit of stamp and seal and some stamp and dimensionals also. So let's start with this cloud background. Now I told you about my stencil that I made out of the acetate or the window sheets, okay? And I need a blending brush and I'm going to be using the Balmy Blue. And whenever you're blending, is what you do is you pick up some ink onto your brush and then I always like to start soft you can always add more color but you can't take it away once it's on so let's start blending okay so you just see what we're getting there nice right i'm gonna zoom in just a touch so you can see better 
I'm going to angle it a little bit and I'm going to move my die cut window sheet up and I'm going to blend again and I'm going to blend again and you see how I just keep moving it and going up just a little bit towards the top of my card now when you get done sometimes you may look at that and I was going to tell you to save this because all you need to do is take just like a microfiber cloth, wipe it, store it, and you have it for the next time you need to do a cloud background, okay? But you see how some are real white? And actually, I kind of like this one. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot more to it. But I do want to take my blending brush, and I'm just going to go around the edge to add that little bit of color to help just soften the look, okay? Isn't that pretty? I did another one too where I used the, um, let's see, what is it called? It's called the um, Kite Delight. And that actually turned out really cute too with this clouded background. And the other thing it works well for is that um, are rainbows. So, um, Rainbow of Happiness bundle. This makes a great background for those two. Now, to get my look on the bottom, I took a blending brush and using the soft suede. And remember, we want to kind of blend off over here because I don't want that mark on my card on this one anyway and I'm going to start off from my cardstock and then come up on so there's our brown our sandy kind of that beach look and then I'm going to take the mossy meadow and we're going to bring in our grassy stamp here this this little Piece right here and that again is from the on the horizon I'm going to ink that up with mossy meadow and I'm just going to stamp that across kind of right where the where the sky and our and the ground meet on our card I don't know why I'm holding it up like I'm teaching a class but anyway there's there's that simple look, but yet, isn't it elegant? Then I'm going to take the balmy blue again with the flock of flying birds from the On the Horizon. I'm going to ink that up and full strength. I'm going to stamp that down here. Pretty, right? And then again, I'm going to bring in the soft suede. And I want to ink up our sentiment, thinking of you. And I'm just going to move this all around on my ink pad so that I get it evenly covered. And then I'm just going to stamp it down right here in the bottom right corner. So you guys, you're going to want to stay on till the end. The swap that I participated in, I got some really beautiful cards and I'm going to share those with you here in just a few moments. So let's bring in the pebble enamel shapes. And like I said, I think these are still on like a non-orderable. They're out of stock, but I'm gonna add just a couple pebbles to give it into that beachy feel. And you guys, this is simple, simple stamping. Simple. And you're using just your ink and a blending brush to create that cloud background. I love, love doing that. All right, so for the inside of our card, I'm just going to take the Hard base and using our with deepest sympathy, 
I want to stamp my sentiment. There we go. And I think just to bring the beach feel or that landscape feel to the inside of our card, I'm going to bring on the mossy meadow. And I'm just going to stamp a little bit of that, the weeds, I call it, like the beach weeds. And we'll do that on our envelope. Too. Oh, no. Wrong envelope. That was that when I decided to do birds. On this one, we are going to do a little bit of that beach grass again. Cool. So just like that, we have our coordinating envelope. And we're going to take our focal piece here with the clouds, birds, our beach scene, and we're going to pop that up using dimensionals. Quick, simple, and yet very heartfelt and a great sympathy card, right? So now I'm just going to center that on the front of our card. And do you see how where we brushed that blue along the edge, how it just makes our, our piece pop just a little bit? All right, so there's our cards. And John Michaels, one of these cards is going out to you. All right, so let's take a look at the card swaps for this month. I'm just gonna zoom back out a little bit. And I kinda wanna cover up my ink here because I really don't wanna get that on my swaps. All right, look at this one, you guys. This uses that same die cut. This was made and shared by Grace Valfans. I love it, love it, love it. Look what she did with the, the medium daisy punch. She turned it into rays of sunshine. She used the cloud punch and she moved the rainbow dies like sideways rather than portrait. She used them in a landscape mode. Fun. Thank you, Grace. I love it. This one comes from. Oh, got the paper stuck inside. Three. This one comes from. Uh, do I remember? I feel bad. I forgot. I think I'm not going to say because I don't know. But I love this card. And this uses the Grassy Grove dies. And look at you guys back behind is that beautiful on the horizon paper, which unfortunately is not orderable right now. But I think it'll be coming back. And I hope you got yours because it's going to coordinate with the... um paper pumpkin this month. And then look how she did this. She put the sentiment piece on the back. So it kind of pops up and it'll literally stand up by itself. Very cool, right? And I feel really bad that I don't remember who made this, but I would love to give you credit if I, if I only remember. All right, next card. And remember, this was a landscape theme. This one comes from Lynn Newton. I love this, Lynn. I love how you did the mountains with the white embossing powder in the background. The trees are fabulous. And I love the dioramas. So this is the mountain air stamps and dies. Very nice, Lynn. Thank you so much. All right. Next landscape. Look at this beauty. This one uses the, let's see if I remember who this is from. Oh, this is Sherry, Sherry Thiesing. And Sherry used the On the Horizon um, stamps and dies. And then she also used the Oceanfront stamps. That's how you get this 
um, it almost looks like, like she watercolored the background. She didn't. Those are stamped. Aren't they cool? So this one, this one, and then the brown down here are all part of that ocean print stamp set. The sentiment comes from on the horizon, and then she tied it beautifully with some of the linen thread. Love the wood grain in the back and the stitched rectangles. And then look at even on the inside. How pretty, right? Thank you, Sherry Thiesing. I need to keep people's names in these because I love to give credit <laughs> where credit is due. And I'm telling you that the I really did get some beautiful cards. Wait till you see this whopper. This came from Michelle Baranek. Look at this. Root. It just keeps going. It's like unbelievable. Right? This way. This way. It can go just this way. And look at the back. Even where you'd write your personal sentiment, she still has that all decorated. And I love this little sailboat. Thank you, Michelle Baranek. The next one comes from Stacy Barrett. This is a really fun fold, and this uses that new um, Waves of the Ocean product collection. So look at how this opens. Like this. Isn't that cute? And I don't know if that's a big sunrise or it kind of looks like a sunset to me or like the moon coming up on the horizon. Really pretty, Stacy. Thank you for sharing. And then I have, this is Kay Kaltoff's landscape swap card. She too used the waves of the ocean paper. She die cut the or stamped, and maybe she hand cut. I think she hand cut the wave. She used some of that silver mesh ribbon to attach her sentiment, and it just kind of slides along. And then she has some of the beautiful um, sparkles from that collection. Really pretty, Kay. I love your card. Thank you. Here's one that came from Don Michaels, and she used the symbol of fortune paper, which is already like this. You don't even have to do the background like I did. The paper is printed like that. So she simply stamped some pine trees on here, a little knot of the braided trim, the evening evergreen braided trim. Do you see the little metallic curls? And the bird is already on the paper, too. So she really just maximized the designer series paper. And then on the inside, she used Campology with the little tent. And it says, today is all about you. And you see the score line here. So as what that does is you can tip this up. It's an easel card. So it, act, it literally stands up. I'll turn it to the side so you can get the full. Isn't that a great card? Thank you, Don. And your card is going out in the mail today. Um, whoops, putting things, putting things in the wrong envelope. See, that's how I get things so mixed up and I don't know who did what. Wait till you see this card. This is from Shelly Lamel. Look at this. She did, um, it's just awesome. She has the um, To the Moon stamp set on Misty Moonlight. And then she used the, um, the textured embossing folder. She too has a little bit of the silver mesh. And then she must have flipped Wink of Stella because this card is so crazy sparkly. Can you see it? 
and lots of blending. I love how she did this. Thank you, Shelly. And last but not least, Kim Lundstrom. Look at this beauty. She used the um, On the Horizon dies. She too used the Oceanfront stamp set to do the three colors here. She has the birds. And look at this beautiful, this is that paradise, paradise of palms or um, I don't have this set, but this is really pretty with the, the black silhouettes and then the, the beach in the back. I love the Bermuda Bay, the little edge peeking through on our crumb cake. And then look at the inside too. I love it, Kim. Thank you for the beautiful card. So that ends the demonstrator swap with the landscape theme and my video for today. My March house code is right up here. This month, when you place a qualifying order of $50 in products, I will send you a pack of the basic pearls along with a handmade thank you card from me. Have a great day, everybody, and until next time.